What's up guys, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. I am an Apple fanboy by definition. So Apple came out with these $550 headphones and what did I say? Yes please, space gray. And it pains me to say that after using this for less than a week, I'm gonna go ahead and return this. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you five reasons why I'm doing this. But before we get too far into this, if you like tech content like this, you may wanna hit that subscribe button so you won't miss my future videos and turn on the notifications. And if you wanna support me and my channel, don't forget to give this video a like. So I'm gonna divide this video into three different segments. First segment or first bucket is everything I absolutely love about these AirPods. Number two, things that bother me and I don't like about them, but those are not the reasons why I'm returning this. And bucket number three are the reasons that I don't like and because of them, I'm gonna go ahead and return this. So when you look at this, you simply cannot deny how beautiful and gorgeous they are. And I absolutely love the look, the fit and finish of these things and you cannot deny that. The next thing is the sound quality. I know sound quality, some of it is scientific, some is subjective. For example, some people, they say they like the bass they get out of a Sony speaker. Some they say maybe a Bose one. I personally absolutely love the sound quality that you get out of these things. Uh, it's a very wide range of sound you get. I get a very nice uh, separation between different instruments and uh, it is very satisfying to my ears. Also the active noise canceling works like a charm. The, um, the transparency mode is one of the best I have listened to. Not only it will let the sound come through, but you get to still sense exactly which direction they're coming from and spatial audio, which is absolutely magical. And if you have not experienced that, you're just simply not gonna know how awesome they are. And these are some of the things I absolutely love about this. So, and you may wonder, why am I looking to trying to return these? Next, let's talk about the things I don't like about them. And believe it or not, price is not even really one of them. Because just like every other premium product, you pay more to just have luxury and to have some status. For example, if you go buy uh, an Armani suit or if you go uh, buy a Louis Vuitton wallet, sometimes you pay 10, 15, 20 times more than what you normally pay, but that's the price you pay for luxury, for status and quality. And with this, you get both of them. So I'm not even mad at the price. Now, what are some of the things I don't like about this case, which is bucket number two? The fact that you still use lightning cable and not USB-C, that bothers me, but it's not the reason why I'm returning this. The fact that this doesn't fold, it bothers me, but it's not the reason why I'm returning this. But let's get to bucket number three, the five reasons why I'm returning this, and it pains me to say that, but here they are. Number one, probably one of the most obvious uh, cons of these AirPods is the weight. This thing is just simply too heavy. Now, I have to admit, the very unique design they have, this mesh does distribute the weight very nicely and these two bars, they almost like never touch the top of my head. But you just simply cannot deny that you have this massive 385 grams headphone on your head. So after a while, you're gonna feel it with the slightest movement, you just really sense this mass that is on your head and it's just not comfortable for long, uh, long-term uses. The second thing I don't like about it, and that is a big problem for me, is when this clamps on your ear, it actually putting a little bit too much pressure to, for my liking. And this, this added clamp pressure that I have, it could be by design because this is a little bit a heavier uh, headset, so maybe they have that added pressure to try to keep it a little bit more stable and in place so it's not gonna feel loose and wobbly. And after I use this for first couple times for maybe only about an hour, I could definitely feel the pressure and start even, I was at room temperature, I started really sweating badly uh, around um, uh, the two sides of my ear. And I just didn't really like that. The next three reasons that I'm returning this have to do with when you're not even using this headset. Number three in the list is this damn case. I still think this is a joke. I refuse to believe Apple and their genius marketing and design engineers, they got together and after all the different designs they had, they actually came up with this as their final design. You see, when I spend 200 bucks to get a pair of headphones, 
I expect to get some sort of functional case with it. When I spend three, 400 or more for a pair of headphones, I expect to get functional and premium. This is neither one of them. When you put this in the case, the bottom is exposed, all the metal is exposed, the handle is exposed. If I'm traveling, I'm absolutely not comfortable to try to just throw this in my backpack or in my luggage. I want to have some sort of protective casing. I know they're gonna come up with some third party cases before you know it on Amazon and we're all gonna buy it, but if I'm paying $550, I expect and demand Apple to provide something better than this. Number four, when I finish listening to music or when momentarily I just wanna take a pause and I wanna put this around my neck, that same clamp that was putting a lot of pressure on my ear, it is almost choking me. This is a very uncomfortable position. So it doesn't matter whether I wanna fold them this way, put them flat, or tilt them a little bit this way. This is very uncomfortable around my neck. And I have the two stems all the way pulled out. So this is the largest it gets. And this is a very, very uncomfortable situation for me right now. And I cannot even have this around my neck for not even three minutes, two minutes, and it's that uncomfortable, at least for me. Again, these are small things, but these are the everyday problems that I have to deal with if I wanna hold on to these $550 headphones. And the last problem, again, goes back to the same clamp force, whatever you wanna call it. When I take this off and I wanna put them on the table, these two uh, ear pieces, they bang into each other really, really hard. This, this force, like, it is very uncomfortable and unusual. When I put this on the table, I just don't know how I need to set them up. Uh, should I have one of them lifted up a little bit? But they bang really hard. Very uncomfortable. And my concern is, if I'm paying $550 for this, I expect and want to hold on to these for years, two, three years at least. And with that constant force and banging, I'm just not sure how long before this will start uh, showing some scuff marks and some scratches on it. And again, it may be something very small, but these little things like this, it just makes me very uncomfortable to have a luxury premium product that I want to use on a daily basis, but it seems so fragile and it has some quirkiness that I just can't use this every day comfortably. And for that reason, I have to return these. I did go ahead and order my uh, Sony uh, XM4s today. I will go ahead and pick those up tomorrow. I'm not gonna do a review on unboxing. There are a ton of them already on YouTube, but I just wanted to share with you guys that I am returning these and getting me a pair of uh, Sony XM4s. So comment down below, let me know. What do you guys think about the five reasons that I'm returning this? If you already have yours, what do you think? Do you have any concern about these things or is it just me? Call me crazy, but your Apple fanboy are returning these. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. Again, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, definitely do so. Like this video and I'll see you in the next one.